Welcome back everyone. It is 9 o'clock here at the Big Top Flea Market on a really nice Saturday morning. Looks like the uh, weather's going to be in the 70s and 80s again, so it's not going to be hot, thank goodness. I just got here um, maybe about 20 minutes ago. I've been cleaning discs, some of the discs that my wife picked up at the flea market needed a good cleaning. So I've been doing that, waiting for the customers to come. So hopefully, guys, uh, we'll have as good a weekend as we did last weekend. I think we're going to continue the sales as far as the Black Friday sales. I think we're going to call it like a pre-Christmas sale to keep doing the same thing. Seems like it was kind of uh, popular. A lot of uh, cheaper games from the $2.99 um, area went. So that was kind of nice just to be able to get rid of some of that excess stock. So, guys, once things start picking up, I will let you know. Well, it is a little after 12 o'clock. Uh, up till about 11 o'clock, we were sitting at like $15. Uh, we had some big mad sales here in the last uh, probably 30 minutes. We're sitting at 175 I sold a Superboy. He picked up a uh, Link's Awakening DX as well for the Game Boy Color. Then the guy that bought the Retron 5 last week came back and spent another $50 with us. He got Pokemon, Fire Red, uh, and a couple more, um, you know, pricey games. I think one of them was Final Fantasy Legends 2 uh, and uh, Phantom Hourglass for the DS. So yeah, it's actually picked up fairly well. It's actually dead right now though. So guys, once things start selling, I'll let you know. Well, it is 1.30 and we are sitting at exactly $300. Uh, we had a, a Superboy sell. They also picked up a, um, a Game Boy Color game. I think it was Zelda Link's Awakening DX. We sold the Grand Theft Auto V game that I got in this morning. Uh, those games just never stick around. Normally by the end of the day when I, I buy one of those from a customer, it's gone. Um, I don't. I think it was like $18 for that. Um, so yeah, it has been another really good uh, day so far for us. Uh, hopefully it will continue until we leave. Probably going to be leaving about 3.34. I do have to go over to the guy that I buy a lot of stuff from. He has got me this ultra crazy um, video card for my system that I need. Uh, my main video card went out in the one that I do a lot of my video editing with and I play games on now since my laptop went out so I wanted to get a really nice video card it's used but it's it's really meant for like AutoCAD but it also can be used for gaming it's got like six gigs of RAM in it so really looking forward to go there and picking that up to slap it in my machine uh, so I can just test it out and see how well uh, it performs so guys once things start picking up I'll let you know it is 2.30 and we're sitting at $3.99 right now. Uh, a couple of the big sales that we've had so far uh, in this little like hour. We sold a uh, Guitar Hero guitar for the Wii and we sold the 360 that I had up there hooked into the TV uh, for a couple weeks now. Somebody came in and wanted it because of the sale. They got an extra three or four games as well, guys. So uh, once things start picking up, I'll let you know. Well, guys, it's coming up on 4 o'clock. Uh, from 3 to 4, we really didn't sell anything until the very end. A gentleman who had sold me some DS and 3DS games about a month ago came in and picked up Forza 6 for the Xbox One. I let him have it for 45 I think I had 48 on it. Uh, really nice to get rid of that one just because we had like $25 in that game, and I hate these really super expensive games, hanging on to them for a while because definitely the price will drop, as you guys know. So we ended up at 444 today, which is pretty much one of our best Saturdays ever. So guys, uh, stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back everyone to a really nice and cool Sunday morning at the Big Top Flea Market. Uh, as you can tell, it sounds like I'm still got the old cold going on here. Uh, we did sell one thing, it's about 10.30 right now. Uh, we sold the uh, Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted for the Xbox 360. The guy who traded it in, when he traded it in about a month ago, said, I will be back and rebuy this. And we're like, yeah, sure. Well, today he came back and he actually bought the game back. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I guess for us, that's kind of like a pawn shop. You know, he trades it in and then comes back and buys it a month later. That's good for us. Uh, it's pure profit. Uh, so, guys, we also decorated just a tiny bit for the uh, store for Christmas. So let me show you that. took in a couple trades. We got Army of Two for the 360 and the Rainbow Six Vegas. And we got WWE 13 for the PS3. It's got a mark on it, so I'm going to take it home and test it before I put it out. Wolverine's Revenge for the GameCube and Chess Master for the original Game Boy. So guys, once things start picking up, I will let you know. Guys, it's 11 o'clock. We're sitting at $33. It's still really early, so we're not really worried as of yet. But I did take in a few games again, so let me show you the stuff that we just got. 
Again, nothing to write home about, but there's some decent games. We got the Sonic Mega Collection, we got Woody Woodpecker, Tomb Raider Legend, and the Simpsons game, all for the PS2. And then one single PS3 game, the Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, which is an awesome game. Well guys, it's like 12.30, we're sitting at 1.15 right now, kind of been slow, but we've had a lot of people come through. Had another uh, trade-in, some guys traded in uh, some more games. He had a Wii U, unfortunately we weren't able to get that in a box PlayStation 1, but um, let me show you the stuff that we got. And here we go guys, we got some really good stuff here. Rayman 2, Rayman Arena, a couple of Tomb Raider games, Final Fantasy X2, Pac-Man World 2. Fortunately the manual is missing from Silent Hill 2. We got Resident Evil Dead Aim, maybe not a great game, but I know it's a decently priced one. Here's a couple of really cool things. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Japanese, complete in box, FX Zero Japanese version, and a Game Shark, which lets you play these games in, in American N64. Well guys, it's like 2.30, um, we're sitting currently at 2.60, which is really good so far. Still got an hour, hour and a half left. Let me show you some stuff I just got. It's kind of crazy. I got over 200 games for a dollar a piece. So here you go, guys. There's two levels of these. These are all PS2 games. There's a few sports in here, but there's actually some pretty decent stuff in here. This one's got 360, Wii, GameCube, some NES, PS3. So yeah, lots of games. Well, guys, it is 3.30. We're sitting at 2.70. We had a $10 sale in this last hour. Uh, we're going to be leaving here very shortly. Um, not a bad day. Uh, definitely Saturday for some reason. Normally Sundays are better days than Saturdays, but yesterday we just had a crazy Saturday. So guys, if anything else happens, I will come back and let you know. Uh, these last few minutes, I'm going to try to listen to the rest of the Bucks game. They're currently losing 19-16, uh, to 16, so hopefully they will come back. So guys, if anything else happens, I'll let you know. All right, guys, it is after 4 o'clock. We had a couple late sales, but a couple really good ones. We had somebody come in and buy a Wii with about three games. They got three or four free games as well. Also, then a person come in and bought the Atari 2600 system and got a couple free games as well. So, yes, we ended up at 387 today. Not as good as yesterday, but still a really strong Sunday for us. So, guys, stay tuned for the wrap-up. All right, guys, here's the wrap-up portion of the video. On Saturday, we did 444. On Sunday, we did 387 for a grand total of 831. A really great weekend for us. It is right up there with some of the better ones we've had. Yeah, we've had a few weekends where we've done over 1,000. But with all the stuff we took into, I mean, 200 games for $200 is just absolutely crazy. Just so you guys know what's coming down the pipe, I still am going to try to finish my final game in the Top 20 Spotlight videos. After that, I'm going to do a countdown of the top 20 games of all time for myself, so hopefully I'll do those this week. I've just got to spend a little bit of time and compile some uh, footage, try to get it all together and edit it together and get it out there for you guys. And also before Christmas, I still am going to try to do my gaming history for you so you guys can see what basically influenced me uh, to become the gamer that I am today. Uh, yes, there's going to be a lot of uh, early consoles. I'm probably not going to go very far into like maybe PS1, maybe PS2, maybe late 90s to early 2000s, and that's about it, because everything else, pretty much everybody else, you know, has played the newer stuff. There's no reason really to go over that stuff. It hasn't really influenced me that much. Again, guys, thanks for watching.